Hello everyone, this is Assistant Professor Dharam Unadukat welcomes you all to this subject Effective Technical Communication. As we know, we are moving with the module number 5 that is Etiquettes. We have covered topics like Etiquettes, its definition, types of the Etiquettes, Telephonic Etiquettes in detail. Then in the previous videos, we have covered Time Management. Today, in this video, we will continue the same topic that is time management and then we will cover the last topic of this module that is etiquettes for small talk. So let's start with the subtopic of the topic time management. In the last video, we have covered the time management matrix that is the four quadrant that is very much required not only in the corporate world but also in the professional life. Now today, let's start to learn the 14 time management tips for achieving your goal. Let's see one by one. First is set goals the right way. There's a right and a wrong way to set goals. If you don't set your goals the right way, then you will lay the proper target which will force you to fall off track. But when you set them the right way, the sky is the limit. Use the smart goal setting method to help you see things through and when you do set your goals that way make sure you have powerful deep down meaning for wanting the achieve then second is find a good time management system which is very much important one of the tips for managing your time is to find the right system to actually do it the quadrant time management system is probably the most effective this as we have started the time management metrics which is very much important to find time management system. It splits your activities into four quadrant based on urgent and importance. Things are either urgent or important or both or neither. Neither in, we have seen in the quadrant number four. Which are the activities that you want to stay away from but it is the not urgent but important quadrant that is quadrant number second that you want to focus on. So these are the four quadrants we have covered in the last video which is very much important. We have seen its importance now. Third is audit your time for seven days straight. Spend seven days straight assessing how you spend the time you do have right now. What are you doing? Record it in the journal or on your phone. Split this up into your blocks of 30 minutes or an half hour. What did you get done? Was it your wasted? Was it well spent? If you use the quadrant system, circle or log the quadrant that the activities was associated with and at the end of the 7 days, tally up all the numbers. Where did you spend the most of the time? In which quadrants this result might shock you? So. Also use this four quadrant and complete your assessing for seven days straight. Next is spend your morning on MITs. Once said, if it's your job to eat a frog, it's best way to do it first thing in the morning. And if it's your job to eat two frogs, listen, if it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. His point, tackle your biggest task in the morning. These are your most important task that is MIT. MIT means most important task of the day. Accomplish those will give you the biggest momentum to help your sale through the rest of the day. Next is follow the 80-20 rule. Another great time management tip is to use the 80-20 rule. Also know, once said, this rule starts that 80% of the efforts comes from 20% of the results. In sales, it also means that 80% of the sales come from 20% of the customers. What is the trick? Identify the 20% of the effort that are pro producing 80% of the result and scale that out. You can do this with Metorious tricks and analysis. Next is instill keystone habits into your life. Once said, the keystone habit in his book titled 
the power of habit in architecture the keystone is the stone that holds all other stone in place similarly keystone habits help to not only solid others good habit but also helps to eliminate bad habit as well so focus on keystone habits and you will get much better at the managing your overall time by making your habit development much easier seventh tip is schedule email response time turn off your email throughout the day when your email is pouring on it's easy to get distracted schedule time to read and re- respond to emails if there is something urgent some t- someone will call or text you but when you have your email open those distractions interrupt your through flow and it's harder to get back on track so this is most for the corporate world or you are in the professional life but this is also a important point that is to schedule your email response time eighth is eliminate bad habits this is for the, this generations one of the biggest time wasters we have are bad habits whether it's we are talking about netflix excessively surfing social media playing games going out frequently to drink with friends or so on those bad habits take away the precious little time that we do have use your time wisely by eliminating your bad habits if you are serious about achieving big goals in life next is take frequent breaks when working one study suggests that you should work for 52 minutes and break for 17 you might not have the luxury to do that but you should take frequent break if you are an entrepreneur working for yourself this is crucial it's easy to run on fumes and not even know it keep your mental emotional as well as physical state at the peak level by breaking frequent frequently so this is the very short task but it is very much important that to take frequent break when you are working next is meditate or exercise every morning you might not think that this will help you to better manage your time but meditating and exercising every single morning gives you balance cut the toxins out of your life and get serious by doing this and watch as your energy stamina and mental focus takes a dramatic shift next is make to do list in the morning for the next day every single evening before bed make a list of the next day look at your goals and see what you can do to the move to your goals closer next is find inspiration when you are feeling lackluster turn to youtube tad talks and any other inspirational source you can turn to when you are lacking inspiration it's hard to stay on track with your time when you lose that drive inside of you find the ways you can turn the fire back to your focusing inspiring contact and seeking out others who are achieved big goals next is get a mentor who can guide you which is very much important you need a person you need a person which motivates you continuously finding a mentor is crucial it's easy to get distracted and disgusted with you don't have someone guiding you but when you can personally rely on someone who's been through the ringer and can help you achieve your goals it's easier to stay on track with your time and the last tip is turn off social media app alters insistent social media app alters are not helping you with your time it's definitely hurting you turn off them you don't need alters every moment or to know everything happening with your friends it's not important at all what's most important is to have some some peace of mind and be better able to focus on the task at the hand so this are the 14 tips we have briefly discuss this which will help you to achieve your goals in the daily life and now let's conclude this time management 
subtopic. This is the last subtopic of the time management. Let's see the one by one. First, plan your day every day. Remember, all things are created twice. Your you plan first in your mind and then implement. Second, do activities the way ahead of time. You have to plan your activity. You have to do your activity before time. Then, then only you will see your goal easily. Next, know your priorities. As we have discussed in the whole session of time management, that you must know your priorities and you have to work accordingly. Next. Concentrate on task at the hand and do not get distracted by unimportant things. To know your unimportant things, you have to do that four quadrant activity. Next is avoid other people's priorities by saying no. This also we have covered topic that's learning to say no. From that topic, you will learn how to say no nicely. And last, have a clear vision of your goal. This will motivate you to stick to your schedule. So these are the most important topic we have covered in the time management. So now the next topic of the chapter and this is the last topic of the module 5 that is etiquettes for small talk. Small talk matters in the business arena. It's part of the good business etiquettes and help build a rapport with others. Small talk often leads to bigger things like new client and new business. Now, the desired function is to often depend on the point in the conversation at the small talk occurs. When this small talk occurs, where we use this small talk etiquettes in the corporate world? Let's see one by one. Small talk is closely related to the need for people to maintain a positive face and feel approved of by those who are listening to them. Listen. It lubricates social interaction in a very flexible way, but the desired function is to often dependent on the point in the conversation at which the small talk occurs. The first time where the small talk occurs is conversation opener. When the speaker do not know each other, it allows them to show that they have friendly intentions and desire some sort of positive interactions. In a business meeting, it enables people to establish each other's reputation and the level of expertise. If there is already a relationship between the two talkers, their small talk serves as a gentle introduction before engaging in more functional topic of conversation. It allows them to signal their own mood and to sense the mood of the other person. Second, where the small talk occurs is space filter to avoid silence in many cultures silence between two persons are usually considered uncomfortable and awkward tension can be reduced by starting fatigue talk until a more substantial subject arises generally humans find a prolonged silence uncomfortable and someone's unbearable then can be due to the human emotionally history or social species as in many other social animals, silence is the communicative sign for the potential danger. So, it helps, small talks helps to filter your avoid the silence. And the last is the at the end of the conversation where you use your small talk etiquette. Suddenly ending an exchange may risk appearing to reject the other person. Small talk can be used to mitigate that rejections affirm the relationship between the two people and soften the parting. So at this three stages of your conversation, that is conversation opener, space fill, filler to avoid the silence and the last is at the end of the conversation. We can use the small talk etiquette. Now let's see the five timeless steps to ensure your ability to make small talk any, anywhere your business talk takes you. First. Keep the spotlight on others. When you use your small talk, keep the spotlight on others. Be genuinely interested in others. It's about them, not you. Get the other person talking by asking open-ended questions. For example, you can ask the who, what, when, where, how, why types of questions. Ask about their job, 
इफ दे आर न्यू इन द टाउन आस्क वेर दे प्रीवियसली लिव और वर्कड पीपल विल थिंक यू आर फैसिनेटिंग इफ यू गेट देम टू टॉक अबाउट देम सेल्फ एंड देर इंटरेस्ट सेकेंड इज बी वेल रीड रीड अबाउट द वेराइटीज ऑफ सब्जेक्ट आईदर ऑनलाइन और प्रिंट एडिशन ऑफ मैगजीन्स एंड न्यूज पेपर्स करंट इवेंट स्पोर्ट्स म्यूजिक कल्चर एंड मूवीज आर द ग्रेट स्मॉल टॉक टॉपिक्स टू गेट अ कन्वर्जेशन गोइंग और टू एड एन इंटरेस्टिंग नगेट्स इन टू द ऑन गोइंग कन्वर्जेशन नेक्स्ट इज कीप इट लाइट स्टे क्लियर of heavy or culturally sensitive issues as well as personal illness never talk about the high or heavy talk and the personal illness and yes it's okay to start a conversation by talking about the weather especially if they are really good or bad and isn't it a gorgeous fall day you can ask about the that day which is the spring day or you may ask about the weather you may ask about your country weather you may ask also about his or her country's weather which is a light topic next is be a good listener carefully listening helps you to be a better controversialist because you are able to ask good questions and keep the conversation going and last is be you conversation are all about making a connection you don't have to be a clever vt or quotable just be sincere show empathy and be willing to listen so these are the five timeless tips where we where you use your small talk and how you have to use your small talk etiquettes so this is a very simple and the last topic of module number 5 that is etiquettes we have covered all the topics of etiquettes first of all its definition we have learned what is etiquettes it is very simple word which distinguish human beings from the animals and we have also covered the various types of etiquettes today we have ended the topic time management and we have completed the topic etiquettes for the small talks more to know more about this topic you have to go with the google you can learn also various books and you have to be your specialized in this topic so this is all about the module number 5 now in the next video we will go with the module number 4 that is ethics thank you